Time to crunch. So I have to crunch ties, me captain. I told you about that, right? In yeah, that yeah. thread where someone was basically like, well, there's really no bon appetit, like, in English, <laughs> you know? Like, not a really official one. No. Uh, there is a yabba dub dub, thanks for the grub. Yeah, exactly. There's just, like, regional kind of whatever. So I'm good if you're good. I'm good. Are we live? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we are? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I said. Nah. Uh, Maybe I didn't say it. Someone roll the tape back. Rewind time real quick. Yeah, it's rewind time. All right. But the time has finally come for One Piece. After all these years. Mm -hmm. Without a month of One Piece, you'll have to make your own. Pretty much, yeah. You know, that's it. That's how it's going to go. It's like we were talking about in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I don't like that I, there's no One Piece this month, so I'm making my own. Yeah, right. The One Piece, though. Always go in. I do still love, even if that is from the killer, that picture where it just says, like, man, this week's One Piece was crazy. Oh, yeah. Like that, it's still fucking funny. Every time. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. It's that it's accurate. Yeah. Spitting facts. The fact that that guy who just does those comics just really loves One Piece and loves to talk about One Piece in his own comics is pretty funny to me. Yeah, right. Like in Gantz, they even have the part where they're singing, um... Uh, brand new world. Or oh yeah, is. yeah, that's right. They're like uh, singing, like when the aliens are taking them up on the ship. They're like singing. Uh... God, what is that? How does that song even go? I know the one you're talking about, though. Because it's like, um... yeah, it's called something new. It's called Brand New World, but I just cannot for life me remember the song. I think I do you may one Piece, the only series that has brought countries together. I'm convinced that if Putin read One Piece, he would stop the war. I I'm too. convinced. <laughs> I am fucking convinced of this. He would realize the error of his ways. He'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this was me the whole time. <laughs> like, I was the Gorusei. Yeah, exactly. He'll realize he was the fucking world government. Like, he was the bad guys. He's like, no. No. I've never looked into a mirror that was so clear. <laughs> it's true. This is a mirror unclouded by anything. Clouded by hate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just I'm convinced something. it would happen. He has the KGB bring in Oda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oda, I want to say I apologize to you most of all. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. I have been a horrible man. Yeah, yeah. I need you to be here at this press conference where I end the war. <laughs> like that. Oda is just there, incredibly confused. No one's even telling him what's happening in Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, I really don't He's speak... just there. He's been kidnapped. Yeah, he's like, I, I don't speak Russian. He's like, oh my fucking God, what is happening? <laughs> Am I going to die? Yeah. Is this, is this how it goes? Is this how it all ends? I step outside for five minutes during my month vacation, and this is where I end up. <laughs> That's it. done. Kidnapped on a plane to Russia. One of the KGBs like, I just gotta say, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a real big fan of the... They're C having him sign their shit. Yeah, yeah. I was a real big fan of the CP9. Yeah. I can only imagine, yeah, like, someone's like, I'm, that's, that reason I became a spy is because yeah. I was really into the CP9. Rob Lucci's my favorite. Rob Lucci's my hero. Yeah. He's just like, Oh god. <laughs> it's not the message I was trying to send, but right. sure. He's just very confused. Just, oh, of course. Just, yeah, this is... This 
It's already looking good. This is good. You're finally at the part in your uh, career where you were able to tackle One Piece. Yes. Truly. It's now good enough for Oda to call shit. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> hey, man, I could probably submit this to Usopp's gallery. Hey, you could, actually. You probably should. Ah, uh, Devin, no. Don't start the companion loop again. No. <laughs> So about those companions. No, not the companions. No. I think they should bring back banding, though. Fight me. <laughs> Let's do it. I like... Let's fighting love, bitch. I'm down to the. I'm down to soulbound again. I like soulbound. <laughs> he says I was talking about Dawn Brothers, bro. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Become my legs, fools. <laughs> Put that audio over when they're like combining in yeah. one piece. I do need to see Oni's sister get kicked again, though. Oh, yeah, it's been so long. It really has. Apparently, I saw a spoiler for it. Oh, no, don't spoil me. Um, but I'm excited for it, is all okay. I gotta say. Okay. I think I saw the villain from the movie or something. That's the only spoiler I've seen. Uh, so. the, the one that's like the weird hurricane? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're in the movie. So that was weird that they went with Hurricane Jer, but there's probably something I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the movie is about. Maybe it's ninja themed, I'm not sure. I don't know either. To be fair, to be, to be fair, I was about to say, like, none of the stuff thus far has been on theme, you know what I mean? Just like the monster happens to be this way. And yeah, that's it's about weird. It. it feels like the monster of the week is just there because it's Sentai yeah. at this point. Because it's like someone's like, man, I really wanted to draw it right for Ryder, but Ryder's already got something going on. So yeah. I'm going to do what I want to do in Sentai, you know? Yeah, like it really feels like the Monster of the Week is very pointless in this season, which I'm kind of on board for. Yeah. Because that's kind of what happens in Kamen Rider usually anyway, is it's like there'll be these monsters for a while and... You know, you know, something like like it becomes oh, yeah. less important as like a, a real story kind of assembles. Yeah, yeah. Versus like they kind of went really in on it like early in Sentai. Oh yeah. They're just like okay, yeah. There's some monsters, whatever. Yeah. Um, here's here's an actual plot though. You yeah. know. Yeah. Right. So now just every week there's a monster that they fight. It's for like, well, reasons, well, like, you know? Well, it has to be here because, you know, we have to make sure we allude to the previous Sentai of the past. And Yeah, it, it's... I'll be interested if um, these trends continue, like yeah. post Dawn Brothers, because I could really... I would not mind if the Monster of the Week theme died down a lot. Yeah, same. Because also, they'd probably be saving a lot of money if they um, stopped doing Mon Monster of the Week yeah, well, like as much. Yeah, because of the suits and stuff. Yeah, they don't have to make all these one-time suits. So. Luffy just cut. Oh, yeah. Straight shredded. Straight fucking bread, man. Mm-hmm. Look at these abs. Yup. I do like that he wasn't, he, uh, at the very beginning, he isn't that shredded, and now he's actually a lot more shredded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, he, like, actually was, you know, training and doing stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Especially because this was, like, post-time skip. Oh, yeah. But just, I think that's nice, though, that they actually, yeah. like, have, like, that kind of, like, you know, like, even Usopp got repped, ripped. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some giant-ass birds out in the yard. Look at them. Oh, yeah. They're approaching. Oh, God. They're like, bro, you like One Piece too? Right. 
No, this reminds me when the giant birds started walking at us when me and Sabrina were at the uh, the garden. Because mm-hmm. I was like, oh, there's this big water bird over there. You know, oh, let's go try and get like a picture of it while it's far away. And then like it started flying down towards us, you know, down the lake. So we're yeah. like, oh, that's good. It'll be easier to take a picture. But it just kept like getting closer. It, 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 it like landed. And the thing was that we were kind of like on a bridge oh, and then it yeah. like walked in front of us like gotcha. it started walking in front of us to block the bridge and i was like oh my god we're going to if this one. bird turns and starts walking towards me i'm done because it was like it must have been two and a half to three feet tall oh yeah it was big you know so we're just like it's a big bird yeah i got some pictures of it like sabrina grabbed some but yeah i was just like all right, this is kind of terrifying because it was probably like five feet from me or something, six feet from me maybe. I'm just like, oh shit, (laughs) what is its plan here? And then it walked across the walkway and then it got in the other pond with all the big koi fish. Nice. And it was like hanging out in there. But yeah, no, there was this moment where it just kept, like, coming closer, and we're just like, all right. Does it think we have food or something, you know? How how scared should we be? Yeah, because it's clearly fearless. (laughs) So I was like, this bird is afraid of nothing. This thing is an apex predator in its domain, you know? Well, most birds, uh, or, like, wildlife, know not to be afraid of people now. Especially like in those kinds of places where they're oh so yeah there yeah them. that's why I was like is it does the thing they're giving it food because there was a part where we were in the Japanese garden part and I swear the ducks just kept following us because they thought we were gonna feed them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the ducks would keep swimming up to us when we got closer to the lake, and we're just like, do they think we're gonna feed them? I don't know what's going on here. We are. Yeah, that is crazy that Kaguya ended. Yeah, right? It's supposed to get another anime, though. Is it? Okay. It didn't say, like, a season four. It just says there'll be another anime. So I'm not sure what that means. No one knows what that means. Okay, because it just said the end at the end of that episode, and I was like, uh, it's technically not the end. Yeah, it's not the end either of, like, the series, so that's why I was like, I think it just means the end of the season, probably. Yeah. So I don't know, because like I said, it it said it would get another anime, but it didn't say, like, season four or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I do still have them. Uh, let me see, I think I can unplug this and be fine. I'm pretty sure they're on here. Let me look. What's up? Devin's wondering if I have all the shows from yesterday. I still have them. Let me look if they're on this flash drive or not. Oh, that's right. Devin didn't get to watch them with us. Yeah. I guess before we start spoiling everything. Yeah, right. Chad uh, moves. Yeah, Giga Chad moves, Devin. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Like, every woman... You think someone would do that? Nah. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Every fucking man who's watching this is like, ah, oh, shit, I got it. The bar has been, like, it wasn't even raised. It just was completely demolished and reconstructed, like... Way too high. Way too high. <laughs> That's it. Mm-hmm. They're going to be hoping their girl doesn't watch Kaguya before they get with them. Because otherwise, they never would have got with them. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that's it. Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. It's like... they will be like, oh, have you seen have you seen Kaguya? And they're like, no? All right, good. All right, I got a chance. I got a chance here. Yeah. I got I, a chance here. I got a hope and a prayer. Yeah. I got a chance here. Shit, man. Shit, man. Got me scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's so good, though. Yeah, no, I love that too. Just the, the way it all went down. Oh, it was so well done. Hilarious. Um, it was perfect. It was definitely uh, worth the watch. Was it just as good as the manga, or? Oh yeah, they, yeah. it was just as good. It's if pretty not, much the same thing with some yeah. the anime extras they add in usually. Yeah, it was basically the same. Yeah, but it was that's just, what I figured. 
it was just it, 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 it's, it's, it's just different in the sense of like you know, because it's animated yeah so this, the experience is completely different yeah they can make it more like intense with the camera work and stuff yeah. you know the music things like that but yeah I remember when that shit went down in the manga I was like no fucking way but yeah because I remember catching up right around uh, the, when the school festival arc started oh, in the okay. manga yeah I think I remember you telling me about it or something Bro, don't you know that if you ask right now, your chance of success would be a fucking hundred percent? Mm-hmm. We'll, uh, we'll let Devin experience it. Yeah. That's the only thing I wanted to say. Mm-hmm. Because I love that line. Yeah, right? That was great. Because, yeah, that whole build-up to that is just it's very good, because it makes oh, sense. Oh, yeah. And it's, it, it, it fits the It was perfect. Course. It was perfect. The, the characters always felt like themselves and yeah. everything like that, you know? Like, yeah. It was great. Nothing felt out of place. Yeah. And, and in the manga, yeah, it keeps going. Because, again, there's all that stuff with Ishigami that needs to be resolved, or at least for right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like how you told me that, that the manga will keeps going after a lot of this stuff happens. Yeah. So that's really cool. Though, I will say one of the funniest things that happened... Um, so, in the manga, the most recent chapter uh-huh. was about uh, Shirogane finally going to Stanford. Okay. And Kaguya uh, sleeps in through the through the actual send-off. <laughs> oh, no! Gets there just a bit too late. And, Damn. And was like... Oh, it just like... Ha- I was like, no, you can still call him. And she's just like... Wow! And like as she's like crying like that, and she says her going wow. She goes up to the desk, buys a plane ticket, gets into first class, what? and then flies all the way to California to meet him there. And it's just like funny because the entire time it's just like like panel after panel after panel of her just going wow. <laughs> Like, she's being fed, like, you know, drinks on the plane. Yeah. People, everyone's being, like, pretty much normal all around her. Yeah, that's and, really funny. And she makes it over there, and he's just like, bro, what the fuck? That's hilarious. <laughs> she's like, oh, you know, actually wasn't that bad. I didn't realize that California and Japan were that close. That's really funny. Sheesh. So it's totally fine. I can come visit you on the weekends. That's great. I didn't realize how easy it would be to get to you. That's funny as fuck. And then she has him on the big screen in the, the student council room. <laughs> the Zoom call? Yeah. That's funny. But yeah, so I thought that was hilarious. Still, they gotta keep going with the anime because we need the part where, like, Papa Shirogane is like, I'm gonna be a VTuber. Oh, dude. <laughs> like, that was so funny. Man, I want it so badly. I need to hear that. I need to hear Dio say that shit. I'm gonna be a VTuber. I need to hear him say that shit. I love that Dio's VA plays a lot of gag characters. Oh, yeah. He'll just do whatever. Yeah. Like... My god, just yeah. like the range on the guy. Him and Yaki Tati Japan. Just... Yes, that was so funny that he was the fucking like game host guy yeah. in Yaki Tati Japan. That's the show. We need to add that show into the mix. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're ready for that. I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> I, was... I imagine Ellen is going to just flip. It's only baking. Well, no, this no. is just bread. <laughs> Honestly, she might actually be into it. I think I've said oh, you it told before. Me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah she, actually. She, she actually likes baking. Well, that's good then. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be one of those things where she's like actually like attentively watching. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I'm learning so much. Yeah. Taking notes. Mm-hmm. Just the fact that there was a Pepsi Man reference in that show alone. Oh, yeah. Wild shit, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't remember being that crazy, but that was only because I got like I think halfway through it. Yeah, that's why because it was like that's like the very like tail end when it's just yeah. like what the fuck. So it was I remember like, it being like you know it was funny and it was yeah. pretty goofy. But I just had been so long, so it was like I don't remember all of this stuff. Yeah, I remember it was wild, but that was it. The fucking Naruto episode. Dude, that was so funny. There was actual Naruto characters. From, it was just the first episode of Naruto. Yeah, pretty much. What the fuck? And I think they did play the original opening. In what? In Kaguya for the season finale. 
Uh, yeah, I think they did. It was either that or it was the ending. I know they played one of them. Yeah. So I recognize the song. Yeah, I was just trying to remember. Because I was like, because uh, when I talked to you, I was like, all right, it's the last episode of the season. That means they I got. I think it was the ending, because I don't remember the, like, oh, Mr. Well, because I remember they, they played the opening. They played the scene from it. Yeah. For a bit. Yeah, they played the opening scene. Uh, but I think they played the ending song. Gotcha. I like that song, but it's the weakest video. Like, it's the weakest opening. Yeah. Like, in terms of the quality. The, the, what's in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, the other ones have all the really slick, like, animation tricks and all this other cool stuff. Yeah. Like, that one has some stuff in it, but, like... Not nearly as much. It's not nearly as intense. No. Especially the first one that has, like, all the really cool shit in it. Yeah, that first one's... That like, first one is insane. It's a whole different animal. That's, yeah. That's just one of the best, like, animated openings. Yeah. I would agree. Mm-hmm. Name, hey, Mister. Oh, Mister. You Machana. No. Yeah, you get Japanese Barry Manilow to do yeah, your tracks. Yeah, that guy is fucking intense, man. So good. The live version of that song is so good too. Oh yeah. I do like these waves at the bottom. Yeah, got it. That's true. It's part of that romance. Oh, I know. Ultra romantic. Ultra romantic, dude. I love how many times they actually like fit in the title. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, because let me see if I can find like I saw the A and N thing about like the like there will be another anime, but again, it was like really just kind of vague. Cryptic. Yeah, I just... I always forget how weird their website was on desktop. I always forget about it because I usually look at it on mobile. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, like... apparently Netflix played a lot more people. Yeah, 300 people. Yeesh. Yeah, they've been laying off a lot of people. Well, that's what happens when you have shit to your service. So. Yeah. Don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel bad for them at all. Yeah. I mean, like, the company. Yeah, yeah, I know. That, you know? Yeah, I don't feel bad for the company at all. It was their decision to churn through shows like Amazon through employees. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny. Accurate. All right. There's a review for the episode, but where's the one that says it'll be back? Ah, there we go. Yeah, it just says a new anime for the series. It doesn't say anything else about it. But it says there'll be more on their website later. Okay. So, my guess is they'll just keep going with the anime, but they just left it like that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't right. know why they wouldn't just continue the story. Yeah. So. Well, I will say, though, that I'm kind of glad, uh, so speaking of other animes I didn't, I'm glad that uh, World Love After World Domination ended at that, at that spot. Yeah. Because uh, uh, there's only five volumes out in Japan right now. And mm -hmm. that, you told uh, me, yeah. And that got, like, halfway through volume four. Okay. So there's probably not gonna be another anime ever, but if they did try to come back, they'd probably wait a bit either way. Yeah. Did 
The real question, though, is what the fuck's happening with Birdie Wing? Right? How is Birdie Wing going to wrap this shit up in 13 episodes? There's no fucking way. There's yeah. got to be more that they just haven't announced. Yeah, I got to. I can't. There's got to be. Yeah, no, it's no there's, there's got to be a thing that just says, like, oh, by the way, it'll be out tomorrow, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, next, next season. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. Like, check it out next week, you know? <laughs> Check it out next week, kids. Uh, honestly, if it was like, oh, it's just canceled because, you know, like the was it was just a funky thing they made. Well, just or it just didn't do very well in the ratings. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. yeah. Again, that wouldn't shock me either. But I just need more. I know it's like, bro, you just can't let like blue ball me like that. Yeah, you, you know can't just mean? leave it at this. Like this shit's getting wild. Actually, it's getting less wild. But still yeah. in a good way. Yeah. In a, in a good way. Yeah, it's still, like, kind of insane to see some of the stuff that's going on. There's just so much weird stuff. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm just waiting. I want to know what happens here. Yeah. Because, now... again, how are they going to resolve this tournament that they're about to go into? Yeah. Like, they can't set that up and then not have another season also. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. No game, no life. Okay. Okay, I'll give you that. No Game No Life does have a good setup when it ends and it never kept going. Yeah. I mean, the light novels kept going, but... Yeah. It's just... Yeah. That's all I have to say is, like... Yeah. Because that definitely feels like a show that could keep going easily. Because also, sports animes can go on for quite a long time. Yeah, like fucking Yoamushi Pedals anime was like 50, 70 episodes or something. Yeah, show. or Major. Major had like five, six fucking seasons. And that's and I'm talking like full-on part seasons. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. like they were long, all every part of it. If I remember right. Can't. Oh, look up how many episodes of Major. I'm gonna search major anime and it's probably just gonna come up with bullshit. So I'm gonna have to add major baseball anime. And even then. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's see. Okay, now that worked at least. 154 episodes divided into six seasons. Holy shit. Yeah. Cause it starts when the kid is like young, but then he grows up pretty quick. Like they skip forward. Yeah, yeah. So. I watched the first few seasons. I never finished the whole thing, but I liked it. I mean, but that's because I like baseball, so. It's the same with, like, Touch. I watched some of Touch, but I never finished it. It's because, I mean, this is old baseball anime, so. Cat, what is wrong? Cat. Absolutely nothing. Why are you crying? It's the door closed. Do you want something to cry about? I don't pick you up. You ain't better run. He says, no, don't pick me up. Oh, no. Yeah, so Major had, like, 150 episodes, it said, right? 154 episodes? Yeah. Like, sports can go on a while. Yeah. It's funny, someone was talking about, like, uh, the pros and cons of sports anime. Mm-hmm. Pros. Char most characters don't die. Okay, that's true. Cons. The third year's leave. <laughs> And for some reason, the third year leaving is just <laughs> as sad as if someone fucking died. <laughs> you say most of the time no one dies, but that did happen in Major. Yeah, or so. and in um, Birdie Wing. Yeah, 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 that's true, yeah. So it's like, that's why they say most. So that is funny. Most characters don't die. <laughs> yeah. But the third leaders do leave, and mm -hmm. it still hurts. That's true. Unless it's that dude from fucking in... Um... Uh, Hibari Kun, there was like a third year guy who left, but then he just kept hanging around. Yeah. And they were always like, why are you here? <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah. He was like, oh, I'll just drop him by, whatever, <laughs> leave. Everyone's like, the fuck? So why are you here? That, that was hilarious. Right. <laughs> Venus line, Venus line. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm like, that cannot end at 13 episodes. There's, There's no, no way. way. There's no absolute way. No way. I'll be so mad. This will be one of the biggest letdowns in fucking anime history if this just ended without having, like, anything happen. A really good conclusion. Yeah, I'd be shocked. Yeah. Well, a paper, and a paper. A paper. Let's make sure it's dry over here. All right. Mm hmm. One a little thicker. Mm hmm. Definitely. Good call. Yeah, it's just a fucking photo of her and the fucking parents, and that. Oh weird. my god, yeah, yeah. How how the fuck are you just gonna put that fucking bomb over there? Yeah, right. That time bomb right there, and just me like it was so quick too. Yeah, not, not to spoil Devin, but there was there was such a quick thing there that we just had questions about. Yeah, just, just like this, there's no way that that's not gonna become relevant. Yeah, like, yeah. You don't just like show something. You can't just like, have that happen. Yeah, you don't fucking show a gun on screen without the fucking bomb going off. Exactly. These crows are just like a standoff out in the front yard. Next thing I know, someone's gonna fucking show up dressed like Itachi out there. Mm. Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> They're like, my time has come. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you know this fucking Itachi cosplayer out there is just like waits for crows to oh, come Oh, yeah, out. for sure. Either that or they paid to have a bunch of crows rented for a photo shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, get me with all the crows in the photo shoot. Meow. Meow, he's so sad. It really is. Mm -hmm. It do be so sad. Make sure I draw this crotch just right. Oh yeah, you got to. It just needs to be packing. Just... Oof. Man, I hate that. Like, sometimes it'll take a while for images to load properly, mm -hmm. or yeah. that, or they just are actually that bad quality. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, Bless you. Mm. Oh, there we go. That's Yeah, and then what are they going to do for the new opening? That's the other big question. Oh, damn. A new opening in Birdie, if it keeps going? That would be sick. Mm -hmm. I need it. We'll go from the Venus line to the uh, the Mars line, I guess. Uh, it could be the Mercury, Mercury line, if you want to go the back. The Mercury line? Okay. Yeah. We're getting closer to the sun as yeah. it goes on? Yeah. I mean, they have to do the Venus because obviously it's, um, you know, women. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. And lesbians. And, uh, yeah. So... But, this yeah. is the anime that made golf sexy in Japan. Yeah, it used to be only uh, old men would play it. Now it's, uh, it's true. Now everyone plays it. Everyone's just golfing right now. Yeah. I wonder if this has had an impact because that always seems to happen, you know. Yeah, like, which makes sense. You with, know, with, like when it was Yuru Camp, everyone was camping. When it was One Punch Man, everyone was exercising. Things like that. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, everyone's just like, I gotta get into golf right now, you know? They're like, I got to golf. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, I wouldn't be shocked if, like, Viking went up during, uh, you know, Waramushi pedal or however you say it. Yomushi. Yomushi. I always want to call it, like, I forgot, there's, oh, what is it? There's another location that I usually would say for it instead. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Just gay biking. The gay biking anime. Oh, yeah. That's you very, know? It was very gay, yeah. That's it. It was like, it was like, all right. It was like, on levels of gay, it was like, you know, a four. Yeah, I don't know. I just know there was biking. Um, and dudes were doing it. Yeah, and that was it. It was a sports anime. Yeah. I mean, it did all have... sports animes are homoerotic. 
Uh, I think there were uh, exclamation points in it too. Yeah, there were exclamation points in the title also. And I do know that the creator wanted the main character to be a girl. Uh, really? Yeah, but was told uh, that it wouldn't really work for this kind of series. I could see that, though. Yeah, especially if it's like a team sport. Yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of... Just because usually teams are the same, you know? Yeah. Sex or gender or whatever word, you know? Yeah. My God, this cat this week. Yeah, he has he been crying. Not the stream. He is just not having it. No, what? He... What? And you keep running away. He has been like that all week. Yeah. Well, I guess just the stream mostly. I don't know. He was. No, he been... he has been crying a lot. Yeah, I don't know why he's crying. He wants people to pay attention to him. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I mean, I'll pet him some afterwards. You know. Does he have a? Uh... What has he been fed? Oh, maybe he hasn't been fed. I don't actually know. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's probably why he's crying, too. I'm going to go feed him real quick. Ellen, did the cat get fed? He did. Oh, never mind then. He's just a crybaby. Just a liar and a crybaby. Wow. That concern I was legitimately felt for him is now yeah. gone and just angry now. Yeah, man. I want those tears back. I want those tears back, you fucking those cat. tears back. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Give me back my tears. I play with them, but you know we're doing this. It's kind of uh, hard to do, you know. Yeah. You son of a bitch! Give me back my tears. The idea of being like, you son of a bitch, to the mm -hmm. cat. It's like, bro, it's a cat. No, you don't understand. It's not just any cat. Mm -hmm. It's the whiniest motherfucker you've ever met. Mm -hmm. it's so weird yeah you're you i don't know me i'm like i want to keep going to shows yeah. i'm not the biggest like sit at home fan i mean maybe yeah. i'll change soon but you know what i mean yeah i mean i don't know like yeah i don't know my my assumption is yeah obviously people want to be at the show because the show's cool yeah but then at the same time too it's also like well yeah the show you don't have to worry about the show you don't have to worry about anything else there's that's no, true yeah i no, didn't think about that there's no work uh, at home that needs to be done there's no yeah. you don't have to worry about any of that stuff you just have to worry about what's in front of you it's a very uh encapsulated world you know yeah all your troubles get to go away it's me and the other people's money in a battle to the death mm-hmm If I was going to die anywhere, I'd want to die on the show floor. Mm-hmm. When we finally have the convention shooter. <laughs> I don't know how I would have died there, but that could be a way. It was between that, exhaustion, maybe being attacked by a bird, you know, since that bird got in and, uh, what was that, Metrocon? Yeah. That hawk. Just a rogue hawk swoops in and tears my throat out. Yeah. A tiny dog with a knife. A tiny you know? dog with a knife, yeah. That could have happened, you know? I love that. That little fucking, like, chihuahua dog with a knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just hits on you. It's like, yeah. you're, what are you on? 
I mean, she is an assassin. It's true, yeah, yeah. She's probably seen some weird shit, man. That's true. That's true. Has, did Yor have to knife some dogs that were trying to knife her? You know? Yeah, you never know. You never know. She had to put down some puppers who were not good boys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maxi. Mm-hmm. I think it is, I don't know, I think it is kind of a shame that, like, Spy Family didn't have the one more episode yeah. to end the season with, like, the next little arc that comes up. I don't want to say too many spoilers, you know. The dog. Yeah, we all know what it is. But... You know, because again, like, the episode that was this week's one is a perfect one to start next season on also, because it has all the stuff that explains it to you again. Yeah, which is, that's why I was kind of confused, like, this doesn't feel like a last episode. Yeah, I, I I think it's because they only had 12 episodes, you know? And they also know that they're coming back. Yeah, like, it's just weird, because they didn't, the thing is, like, I don't feel like the show was ever paced poorly. Yeah. So no. I can't say that was the issue. I, you know, I'm not going to say, like, that's why they fell an episode behind. Because mm -hmm. they really didn't. No. They just... If they had been scheduled for 13 episodes, I think they would have done it. Yeah. In the reverse order. Pretty much. Yeah, it's weird that they only got 12. I'm so confused by that. Usually, I always remember it being like, oh, it's not, it's 13. Yeah, know? it used to be you get 13 episodes of stuff a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what the deal is with... Because technically, Kaguya has 13 episodes. Because yeah. it has an hour on it, so... Yeah, don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see something real quick. Cause yeah, some of these other episodes got thirteen episodes. Oh my god, hold on, I forgot about this one. I have to find the blurb for this. For the ending of Shield Hero. Oh god. For this season. I heard this season was terrible. I just want to find the blurb because it was really funny. I don't know where was it fucking at. I meant to read it to you like yesterday. Yeah, I just heard it was terrible and everyone was like hated it. I'm not fucking shocked. The, I did not like that show when I saw it. Yeah. So, like, I kind of liked some of the ideas, but then it was just like the fuck is happening i'm good yeah I mean, uh, uh where is that shield hero becoming much more harder to defend yeah right uh this is what i saw for the um okay that's why it was slightly changed uh because i think the person yeah they thought this was the final episode so at one point it said like the season is over but they changed it to say like soon be over but it was a uh, says well that was definitely a climax it had characters monologues and a nice song played during the final battle so how come i can't muster a single bit of emotion outside of relief and exasperation that the season is finally soon to be over <laughs> yep yeah i was like that's a that's a stunning uh, review there it's like, yes, everything happened, and all I feel is joy that it will be over soon. You know? Mm -hmm. like, it's like, oh, it's a Darling in the Franks review. Yeah, that reminds me of that. It's like, well, I can finally say that now it's over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I never have to watch another episode of this show. Yeah, just like that. There were monologues, <laughs> and a song played over the final battle. And I can't help but be asked, why the hell do I care? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I know a lot of people were talking about this show, the one where it's like, Shikimori-san, what is it, is like, is more than cute, or is just so cute or something? Uh, is more than just it's cute. more than just cute, that's it. The title's in Japanese here, so I'm like, something nice, she's not just cute, or something. Yeah. People were talking about that, but I have no idea what this is about. Uh, it's just like some rom-com. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I didn't really see or read anything that made me want to... It's just another rom-com. ...care about it. 
Yeah, I like Kaguya because, first off, like, it is, I like rom-coms that are, like, funny, you know, so it's very funny. Oh, yeah. And then, but, like, what I love is the crazy animation they had. Oh, yeah. The styling of it and stuff. I really like that. They also I feel just... like its style of comedy is just really funny, too, for me. Yeah, because it's also just absurd and makes fun of all the tropes that are in rom-coms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gives them um, a good idea of like you know oh here's what we're gonna do and talk mm-hmm. about the the expectations tip dr- you know drop yeah. it on their head and be like yeah isn't that stupid that this was a thing that people would think was funny yeah like that, exactly like where that dream sequence I want to see that animated so bad yeah <laughs> the fucking is- Ishigami's in the nineties harem anime uh, Shigami well it was Ishigami's, Ishigami's, it was Ishigami's, Ishigami's dream, dream. Yeah. yeah it was Ishigami's dream I mean but yeah and it was Shirogane but it was it was a nineties harem anime yeah it's like. Hayasaka likes him because of this. Uh, uh, Shinomi likes him because of this. Uh, this character likes him just because. Yeah, just because. Yeah. Oh, God. I like Shirogane um, just because I do. You know, it's like, yeah. holy shit, that's so true. As someone who's seen too many of those. Yeah. It's like, holy fuck. It's just also funny, too, to be like, because they were talking about, like, oh, the sister likes him, secretly has a crush on him. Yeah. She has a huge brother complex. Like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. This just like yeah no that's not how siblings work yeah it's not it can be funny in some shows but i feel like it has to be taken to an extreme absurd level yeah if you're trying to make it seem realistic that's creepy yeah it's like yeah because like like the girl with the brother complex in bigata hk is hilarious fucking hilarious because that girl is absolutely insane you know yeah like it's like in, so absurdly done in orimo it's done with a sense of seriousness and yeah. i do not like it yeah right and the creator is known to be an actual creep mm-hmm. <laughs> even his sister does not want to talk to him right so, nah man uh, this bookworm show only had 10 episodes this season that's weird it is weird i don't know that that's what it's listed as huh huh probably for the better yeah, I don't know. That's a show that people like that, like, I don't know. That first episode was so off-putting. It was rough. Holy shit. It was rough. I remember, didn't Corbin say they just skipped ahead to some episodes? Yeah. They just, like, skipped five episodes ahead and just started watching there. Yeah. I was, was like, like what? That's, that's not a show of confidence, my friend. <laughs> yeah. This this is making me definitely not want to watch this. Like, that one guy also says, like, I like this one, even though it's an isekai, the, the guy that uh, was always dressed as Jet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even remember what East Guy recommended. It was that, Ascension of a Bookworm. Oh, that's right. He did say that. Yeah. He said that was a world he'd like to live in. Okay. Uh, maybe there's not much going on, you know, like too crazy then. Yeah. Because that makes sense. It doesn't seem like something where too much crazy shit is happening. Because he was talking about, like, worlds that you, that, like, you want. Yeah, we were talking about that. Because yeah. he was talking about, like, Little Witch Academia was really good about creating mm-hmm. a world that would just be fun to live in. Yeah. Because, like, even if you don't have magic, there's people with magic, you know? Yeah, and it still seemed relatively like our world anyway. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. But with more magic, you yeah. know? But more chances to go to a witch school. It's... Yeah, right? Or just go hang out in the town with the witches. Yeah. Like, I would just be like, you're a witch? You're my new friend. <laughs> like, that's it, you know? <laughs> Done. <laughs> End of debate. Yeah. Join my crew. Yosh. Yosh. Because we do know that manga existed because uh, Akko was reading like Tokimeki uh, yeah, yeah. tonight. So there's a chance a One Piece exists in the Little Witch world. That's true. Which would then make it probably the best anime world to live in. That's true. <laughs> An anime world where One Piece still exists? An anime world where One Piece also exists and is not absolutely insane. All right, I'm in. I'm in. And there is actual factual magic and witches. Yeah. Like, bro. Bro, I'm in. <laughs> yes. Me and my witch crew are going to roll up on you. <laughs> and it's going to be big. Mm-hmm. What is it with you people who bear the name D? Yeah. 
Yeah, we still don't know what that's about. Mm -hmm. go back and watch too mm -hmm. the um the one like it's your boy Komei that one oh yeah the Dynasty yeah. Warriors guy yeah yeah, yeah. idol girl yeah. I've heard nothing but good things about that one yeah Mike was telling us to watch that one too yeah I've heard nothing but good things so I'll probably download that and we can watch that yeah that sounds good yeah because I'm just kind of looking back over like anything we missed from this season that sounds like something we'd like and that one just like I saw the opening you know and I've seen like a couple scenes it just seems like a fun thing we'd probably like mm -hmm. Okay, but the the next episode, the newest episode of Birdie Wing has not aired yet, apparently. So, we do still have a chance for a secret announcement at the end of the episode for more for more uh, episodes. Damn. Which I want. I've heard Kingdom is good, also. Yeah. I've heard that one's really good. It's just a lot, like to invest in, you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like going into another One Piece or Berserk kind of thing. I know it's pretty long. Yeah. I do remember that joke where it's like, hey man, do it. I got the, I've got the latest Kingdom chapter. Yeah, yeah. In that weird Dragon Jet Vor anime. Yeah. That was a weird one. Yeah, that was fucking weird. I did like the uh, the ending song. I love the ending song. Yeah, they use that like old French song. Yeah. Yeah, it was like I was kind of on board with everything except for the weird dragons eating them part. Yeah, that just kind of bothered me. Yeah, it's just a little much. It's like I don't like this. It's like if they just flew on dragons that turned into mechs or something normally, that'd be fine. But here we are. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's not a thing I'm into, you know? Mm hmm. Because I'm never, I'm never down with the like strangely sexual mech piloting stuff. You know? Oh, you don't like Darling in the Franks? I don't know. I'm also thinking of Stratos. Was it Stratos 4 or Stratos 5? The the one where the girls fly the planes, but they're like, the first girl is like doggy style in front of them. <laughs> like, it looks really funny. I remember everyone was laughing when it happened at, uh, because we were watching, like, that came on after something at Akon one year. And I just remember it seemed normal, it was kind of moe, and then they got in the planes, and they were both, like, doggy style, and the one girl's ass was, like, in front of the other girl's face, is like, two feet from it, and everyone was dying laughing. Ah, oh, my favorite. I was like, bro, this just ruined the show. Like, any chance it had of, like, being a decent anime, I was like, I'm done. But yeah, Darling in the Franks. What is it? Vandred has some, like, kind of piloting like that, but it's not as, like... It's meant to be funnier, in my opinion, I yeah. think. Because you know where they, like, sit on the guy's lap or something? Yeah. When they fuse the mechs? Like, like they comment on how weird it is, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, I never watched Darling in the Franks, but I feel like no one ever said it was weird to pilot the mech like that. <laughs> They probably just thought it was totally normal. Yeah. More than likely. Yeah, probably. 
I don't want to watch to find out either. No. I'm good. Yeah. But yeah, I kind of like when there's just like not really anything good to watch sometimes after mm -hmm. a few seasons because it gives you a chance to catch up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because the only thing so far, I think, is the double anime, and that looks like it's still been delayed again or something. Yeah. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Might not even happen. Yeah, because at this point, it's saying that it's still, like, over a month away from airing, and every other show is, like, 10 days, 12 days, you know, for next season. Mm -hmm. There's a couple that are a little far away, but... Obviously, we need to watch more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what it <laughs> was. Christ. That was so crazy watching that episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. I was like, what? Yeah, like, the guy fused with his monster, and then the monster had a dual disc. I was just shocked. Yeah. I'm like, this is insane. That was a lot. We have gone to new levels of Yu-Gi-Oh here. Now this is Yu-Gi-Oh. This, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. And then the homegirl with the giant saw thing just driving down the street to fight this alien. That was pretty funny, though. That was pretty crazy. I was like, what? What is going on in this show? I was like, because I remember all we knew about the plot was, like, aliens. Yeah. When we read the blurb, like, when it was announced. Yeah. It was just aliens are involved. That's all I remember is, like, some dude beats an alien and then they duel. Like, yeah. that was it. Uh, I don't remember anything else from that blurb. Aliens, guys. All right. <laughs> Devin's like, I am the monster now. I was a monster the whole time. It's true. Mm -hmm. But Fall, though, Fall's going to be sick. What do we got so, in the fall? The fall one, more Spy Family. Yeah. More uh, Part 6 finally gets put on Netflix. Okay. That fucking debacle. I hope they never do that shit again. That just ruined it. Uh, there's more Mob Psycho. Um, let's see what else is there. Uh, I swear there was something else cool. The fall. Oh, yeah, Golden Kamui. Oh, Golden Kamui. yeah, yeah. There's more Golden Kamui. Um, so that's around October. Yeah, the Rusei at Sir reboot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the double anime is also listed for fall. Um, so whenever it gets made. Uh, what else do we have? I just know those alone are good enough, honestly, for me. For oh, a yeah. season. Those are the ones I remember. Like, just more Golden Kamui alone is good enough. Wait, what? There's a new Digi Chariot? Bro, what? That's interesting. That is insane. I wonder... I am... What? What? I, I am hyped for that. Okay. How, how do we do Digi Chariot in the modern era? I am, I am very excited. Uh, and tragically, Bleach Returns. Oof. Yeah, which we will not be watching. I, mean, I can imagine there'll be an uptick in commissions for Bleach characters, though. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Put that as the poll for Patreon. <laughs> for, for when Bleach comes back in the anime. See how that goes. <laughs> yeah, right. Just do Ichigo as the commission example, the first fucking con before that shit. And then I got the Grim Jow. That's true, yeah. 
Yeah, I was like, unless they uh, rewrote it when they made it an anime and made it good, I'm uh, very uninterested. That's how I'm going to put that. Oh, yeah. I remember reading that, and it was miserable. I remember, month of, like, just months and months of misery. Mm. I'm not fucking going back to that. No way. I'm done with that abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. It's not happening. These titties are bar as fuck on Zoro. Oh, right? I mean, he does have the largest bus size in the entire series. It's true. That is actually canonical. Yeah, that's why I said that, yeah. I know, I know. I just want to make sure that chat oh, on the chat page. knows, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I would rather... If if I'm being forced to watch any amount of Bleach again, I'm just going to re-watch, like, the Soul Society arc, and that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need. That really is the only good part of Bleach. I might rewatch the Grim Jado fight. That was yeah, I think it's definitely the best part of Bleach, is what I would say. Like, that's the best arc in Bleach. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that's what put Bleach on the map, you know? Oh, yeah. Do you think I'll have to cover up Zoro's nipples? Nah. Free him. Imagining someone be like, "Hey man, you gotta cover those tits." What? All right. What? Nami's mm -hmm. covered. Like, Nami's covered. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, no, that guy. Mm-hmm. The legendary titties here. Z Zoro. All right. And then they say, no, it's Zolo. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, God, why? Right. Next reboot will be Creamy Mommy. That would be interesting, actually. Yeah, I could see that. Definitely a random one, but I fucking know if we're going all the way to Ruse at Sura, my was... I am so surprised. I was like, what? Like, don't get me wrong, it's like, you know, monumental in anime. Like, yeah, it's yeah. one of the like biggest names in anime so i'm just like surprised you know it was like you know there hasn't been anything for it anything like you know what i mean i don't oh, know yeah. just out of nowhere i mean they had the reprints i guess yeah so maybe the re-release is kind of gay. so yeah i don't know yeah yeah maybe sales from that were just so good they were like all right we want to go and do an anime again Yeah, I can see it. So I guess now the uh, next thing though is uh, once I finish this print, mm -hmm. gotta get all the Japanese VAs to sign it. Yes, yes, that would be so fucking legendary. But it'll be so fucking hard. That would be impossible. Yeah, because there's no way they're coming to America. I mean, it's pretty rough. Yeah. It's pretty rough they were going to show up anyway, even without COVID. I mean, because we already got Frankie's VA's uh, autograph. I have to go back and, you know, like... Yeah, you'd have to go get it again, you yeah. know? Just, like, can't just getting transfer. It once, yeah, getting it once is a lifetime event. Yeah, yeah, now you're going to do it twice? Yeah. Technically, it would be three times, because I did go get it twice, but it was in the same event. Yeah. Because John got the uh, Frankie sign, and I got the uh, Mr. Two Bon Clay Yeah, sign. I got the Bon Clay, yeah.
Zorro hates black people. That sh that video was so funny. Oh my god. He's racist. I love that shit. Yeah. Hootie fight. <laughs> that was so funny. Another black dude. <laughs> that was so funny. This trans black woman. <laughs> like, just every. That was so yeah. funny. The black guy with Skypea. <laughs> like, yeah. That was hilarious. Fucking king. Fighting king. Dude, fucking racist. He's racist. That was so funny. Oh, I was saying, it's like, what, what, my boy's, no, there's no way. I love it. Otis said he'd be a cop in real life. <laughs> He's a <laughs> racist. That is true, I forgot about that, yeah. Say some real. I'm gonna spit some real facts here for y'all real quick. You probably can't handle. <laughs> Zoro's racist. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. I couldn't believe that shit. Oh, I could. <laughs> I could believe it. Zoro's All racist. Right. No, God, my man, no, bro, that's messed up. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> so funny just to be like. What? <laughs> mm hmm. He'd be a cop. <laughs> Racist. Mm hmm. Damn, it's kind of crazy. It's been an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? I'm only, like, on Zorro. I mean, this one's going to take a while. Oh, yeah. Well, I knew. It's just crazy to think about. Like I said, this... Uh-oh, watch out. What? That big drip on uh, Luffy's pants there? Yeah, it's been there for a bit. Oh, has it? I just missed... I guess I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay. No. I was like, uh, Whiteout exists, whatever. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this is going to take a while. Oh, yeah. You got 11 characters. Even if it's not all of them full, it's still a lot. Mm-hmm. And it's on a large piece as well, like this. Mm-hmm. Like, I just remember the My Hero piece, because it has a lot of characters on it, too, but it's not nearly as intense as this is. Yeah. That one did take a while, though. It did, yeah. So... But yeah, it was much smaller. Yeah, it was a little my 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like half the space it is. Yeah, pretty much. You know? And each character is much smaller. Mm-hmm. So it's funny, like, like this finger is just black because of the. I saw that, yeah. How the nib gets with this particular ink, because this ink is very watery. Mm hmm. But it is great because it doesn't blend with, uh, it doesn't bleed with alcohol. Yeah. Fun fact, chat Katetsu the Third is always in his left hand. Is it really? Because it's an evil sword. That's interesting. At least that's what I had read about, but I don't know. Um, like I, I didn't actually go through and look at every single panel of him yeah. holding Tetsu the Third. I wouldn't be shocked though. I mean, because he only uses the white one in his mouth, right? Normally? Yeah. Wado yeah. Ichimonji only goes in his mouth. It's always. Yeah, it's always there. That's the only one that goes in his mouth. Yep. 
Because he wanted uh, Kuina in his mouth. Oh, obviously. 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 <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I wonder, actually... That's still his, That's the last original sword he has, right? Uh, he still has Katetsu the Third. Oh, okay, that Okay. So was the, that one he started with, though? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, That's what I'm sorry, saying, like, sorry, from sorry. the very beginning. It's very that's, that's his last original sword, though. Yeah, Wado is his, yeah, his only original sword, yeah. Yeah. From uh, the beginning to end. Yeah. Yeah, no, because all the other ones he got later, after other ones would break and he would get a new one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no. If you touch the third, it's all uh, the set ones that stayed around the second longest. Yeah. Which I'm interested to learn more about because we found out the person who made them. We've actually meet, meet, have met the person who made them, and he's the the ex shogun in Iwano. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, so you're just like, wait, does that is that probably why they're cursed? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely, like, a lot of stuff that needs to be answered even before they leave Wano, I feel like. Yeah. Which I hope gets answered. Yeah, because, so. like, was that dude Zoro's dad? Straight up. Was that his dad? Straight up. Just tell me, man. Yeah, you no. need to know. Come on, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. You look just like him. And he even said, don't worry about my name. I'm like... Yeah. That's Zoro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is this is one piece, dude. Your your middle initial changes everything about you. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Like right? there's a middle initial so strong you have to keep it hidden. Yeah. And you're telling people not to worry about your name. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Like, the world government changes the names of shit. It's the name of something is so powerful in one piece. Oh yeah. Like that's that's just a fact, you know? Mm-hmm. These people had an enemy. Mm-hmm. He knows too much. Yeah. <sighs> the will of D. I do hope the D doesn't just stand for devil. Yeah. That would be a little weak. Yeah. So, that's kind of would be like one of my few, like, Gripes. If it's too obvious and complaint. Actually, I think. Where's that volume cover at? Do this fucking edit. <laughs> <laughs> their legs are really long in one they're, piece. Yeah, their legs are. Yeah. Their every character's legs is long. Yeah. It's not I even. Mean, that's how you get those sick kicks, though. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone this is, weird edit. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Damn, where was it? Do you know what volume cover it is? I can just go get it from the living room. It's volume 90... 99. It's volume 99. 99? 99. That was in English, right? Yeah, I have that, yeah. Is it 99 or 98? It's 99. Okay, I was like, let me see that one. Did I miss it? Oh, it's probably on volume 100 then. Uh, no, wait, volume 101. Probably. Oh, okay. Guess. Yeah, that was not on me. Damn, it's a shame. Hold on. Let me go get that done. Because I could have sworn it was up near the top when I was looking at Nami earlier. Says he's a communist, owns a house. Hypocrite. Fucking hypocrite. Is it not the right cover? I just, I just started searching. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Because it's this pose. Could not remember.
What the fuck? Trying to get a good photo of it. Mm hmm. It's like this is kind of blurry. Also kind of blurry. That's not the right one either. The bullshit. Man, it's crazy that we got to 100 volumes, so. That is insane. 100 volumes is a lot. There's not a lot of manga that, game, that make it that far. No. Because Bleach and Naruto didn't make it that far. Nope. Oh, shoot, shoot. Because there was a pose that was similar to what her pose is in this one, so I was like, oh. I mean, you want to look for it for me? No, that's fine. I can get it later. Oh no, what? Oh, because it's a stupid web fucking BP thing? Okay, now there it goes. Okay, you should get it. It's a GIF, randomly. Why is it a GIF? That's weird. It's saved as like a one of those WebMP things. Mm-hmm. The WebMD. No, web, it's like web WMP or some shit. Yeah, it's just funny when you say WebMD. One of those fucking files that's annoying and evil to steal. It's because it's from a wiki. You have to go there and like download the normal version, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, there it is. She had her first thing uh, revealed, and uh, fucking Gendo is just like, she's gonna get more fucking suitors than, yeah. than bounty hunters. It's like, but you like that picture. I mean, you, you made it so big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Neji, Ned, what's Nami's sister's name? Nejiko. I totally forgot. Neji Ray. I think that's an N. I think she has an N name too. Yeah. I know who you're talking about, but I don't remember her name. I'm not good with names. Mm -hmm. I'm good with faces, though. John, Noji, Nojiko? John would know. He knows the name of every single character. He knows every character from one piece. Just show him a panel. He's like, oh shit, this guy? You don't remember this guy? Chapter 325? Losing one panel? You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the guy, you know? It's the guy, man. He's the guy. I, I can't believe he's back. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, bullshit. This is a new character. He's like, nah, man, nah. See, right here, this is the back of his head. <laughs> like... 
chest. Like, what the fuck, dude? This is the back of his head from the one panel. And we were like, who is this guy? You know? I remember it from, from 15 years ago. You know? <laughs> 15 years ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. John, I don't even remember what I had for breakfast, man. Like... <laughs> fuck is wrong with you <laughs> you're remembering the back of characters heads from 15 years ago in one piece my dude <laughs> mm-hmm. what is going on mm-hmm Yeah, again, though, I would love to see Chris Kakyoin do the uh, every One Piece character. I doubt he's going to do it now. He seems fairly done with the uh, concept, but yeah. I don't know. Neither do I, but I just thought it would be funny. Yeah, that would be great. I know he said he he would, you know, eventually. That's, that's what he thinks. Because everyone would ask him, you know, and he's like, that's going to be my greatest challenge. Oh, yeah. My greatest undertaking. Yeah, because the last one he did was the Animal Crossing one. Mm hmm. I remember someone talked about Nami's character design. It's like, man, those boob, those boob strings are the strongest thing in all of One Piece. <laughs> and I was like, you know. <laughs> That's funny. You're probably not wrong. That's funny. That's how she holds up those giant tits. That's it's hilarious. Hockey. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. There's a hockey enhanced bikini top. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> oh, easily. Saying Nami isn't a hockey user out here. <laughs> how how else is this bikini standing on? Right. I was supposed to be able to hit Goofy. Right, exactly. I do love that though, where the Odo originally when someone asked, Hey, how come Nami's hits hurt Luffy? Yeah. And uh he said, uh, well the power a fist of love cannot be blocked. And then that's yeah. when fucking Garp shows up like later and says, Yeah, fist of love can't be blocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so funny. Dude, Oda's the bomb. O Oda's so good. Oh yeah. That's why I'm not even worried, like, about what, at, at, in One Piece. Oh, yeah. Everything that needs to be explained will be explained. Like, yeah. Oda, Oda has not let us down. No, not once yet. No. Like, Oda knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. I really do want to know what's going on with Elbath, though. Yeah, same. I don't know, there's a lot of things I want to know going on, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah, tell me about it. Bro, what happened at the Reverie, man? Oh, yeah, no shit. There's too much stuff that's still... It's, it's so crazy how it's just like, he can show you all of this shit, and then it's like, alright, but here's some more shit you're gonna wonder about. Yeah. There's just always, like, more depth to One Piece. Yeah, every time, man. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. I also do like that the fights have uh, evolved a lot. Same. I, I really like... People can talk shit about, like, dress... About, uh, not dress rolls, About, um, Whole Cake Island. Yeah. But the point was not to go there and beat everyone in a fight. No. Like, straight up. That was not the point of the arc. Yeah, so go get Sanji back. Exactly. They were even said, like, hey, man, we can't, you know, try, we can't let ourselves get injured. Yeah. You know, so it's like, 
people are going to talk shit about everyone doesn't get a fight or, you know, all of this type of shit, you know? It's like, oh, this isn't like a normal arc or whatever. It's like, yeah, it's not. It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. Yeah, I like how chaotic the fights were in Onigashima also. Oh, yeah. Like, I actually liked that a lot. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of just, like, everyone was fucking everywhere fighting people. They just kind of ran into someone and fought them, you know? Yeah, Yeah, it was crazy. Just, like, everyone running around fighting people. Yeah. And that's how it would be. Yeah, that's really how it would be, actually. That's how every like samurai film was too. That's why it's like, oh yeah, he's he's going and channeling a samurai film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, straight up. That was just that was amazing. Cause like even the castles on fire. Yeah. You yeah. Know, everything it had everything you you would want in a samurai movie. Oh yeah. It was perfect. It was so good. I still love when it's like Raizo and the other ninja guy, and they just have each other frozen. Yeah. Like if, until the guy like burned to death. Yeah. That was crazy. That was like, pretty fucking nutty. That was so intense. Yeah, because I remember, I think it just, like, cut to them, and they were frozen. They had frozen each other. Mm-hmm. And then like, you let down sc- your thing. He's like, well, then you let down yours. <laughs> like, yeah, and they had that, roll, that scroll scroll thing that he, like, saved all the water from Zoe. Yeah, that was so sick. Yeah, because he remembered, you know, because last time they couldn't put the fire out. Yeah. So he's like, I'm not going to die. He's like, we're not, that's not happening. No, not again. He's like, we're not going down like that. Yeah. That was a crazy, like, reveal. Yeah, then Jinbei starts, like, water bending everything through yeah, the whole yeah. castle to put the fire out. So good. Damn, did it just get, like, 100 degrees colder in here? It did. Oh, my God. Crazy, right? It really is, like, the only series that every time I start talking about it, it just gets cold. Mm-hmm. It just gets cold. I don't even... I shouldn't have even fixed my AC. I should have just been constantly talking about One Piece to myself in the car. <laughs> you know? What time are we leaving on Thursday, anyway? Oh, well, it's like a three, four hour drive to Austin, right? Yeah, I can't remember if we were deciding to leave like early or later. I don't know. Because we're, what, going to an Airbnb or a uh, Airbnb. Hotel? Yeah. And the Airbnb, usually they let you check in around 4 p.m., so. Yeah. They're a little looser, so I'm just... Figured we were either going before or we're going after traffic. I don't know. You know how much stuff we want to get done in the day, that kind of thing. Yeah, I figured we would leave around like two. Okay. Because I feel like that would be a good place to get rid of, to, to beat traffic. Yeah. And then also get in at a reasonable time as well. Mm-hmm. No, that makes sense. Which means we have to watch Dawn Brothers uh, either, to, uh, either on, we have to watch it on Wednesday. That's true. We would have to watch it on Wednesday to watch with everyone. Mm-hmm. Unless we want to, like, wait and watch it on Monday with everyone. That's true. Oh, because John hasn't seen, like, almost any of it. No. So, that would actually be interesting for John to watch, having seen almost nothing, I think. Yeah. That actually sounds kind of funny. I'm kind of in on that, because there's not as much anime to watch. Yeah. So I don't know. That sounds kind of funny, but I'm down. Yeah, we have like a toku heavy day then. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because I know we still need to. We're so close to finishing uh, Loop Hat. Yeah. Apparently, also Revice is only going to get forty nine episodes. Oh, interesting. Because that that thing said eight episodes left, and um... oh yeah, you're right. Hmm. Which is funny because it's the fifty. Uh... That's funny, yeah, it's the 50th anniversary, but it doesn't even get 50 episodes. Yeah. That's kind of funny.
tell this is going to look so good. Mm-hmm. It would be good to finally have something in one piece, because a lot of people would ask, you know? Oh, yeah. It's like, what? You look like you love One Piece. I do. I do fucking love One Piece. You know? I love it. I love it like it was my own son. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my very own son. I was going to say, it looks like it needs just a smidge more curve or something. Because you know? you're going for a curve, right? Yeah, smidge. Yeah. I think it'll also be interesting. I'm kind of interested in seeing what like all the vendors have at RTX. You know, yeah. Just because I don't know what to expect. Yeah, neither do I. Because if this is just a giant pop culture con, then, you know. Yeah, there probably won't be anything. Be like, there could be some cool stuff, but there could also be a bunch of boring stuff, you know. Yeah. I'm just hoping enough people come, you know, who like anime, see our stuff, buy our stuff. That kind of thing. Yeah. Like I said, they're doing a lot. Those YouTube ads will pop up a fuckload. So they're at least trying to get people to come. Yeah, I just know that they have COVID restrictions in place. So that's oh, gonna, do that? Yeah. Is like ma- mask mandatory? Uh, they have some app that they want you to download to show proof of vaccination. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, so. Do we need to use that? Oh, uh, we do, yeah. Oh, we'll grab download it, I guess. Yeah. I figured we could just do it the day before. Yeah, that makes sense. It's probably that same app that um, Star City Games was using, maybe. Was it called Clear? I don't remember. So. So I don't remember that app either. And then they didn't even care once you got there. Yeah. They just were like, do you have it on you? I was like, yeah. And they're like, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm, like, annoyed by, because I'm, like, I don't know which kind of way it's going to go with that. Yeah, it's like, I could just show you right now, you know? Yeah, you know you could like, show why us. do I need an app? I mean, I guess to verify it's not fake, I guess. Yeah. Which is just kind of sad. Yeah, it's the world we live in. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Ugh. Someone must be talking shit out there. Mm-hmm. Good. Let them talk shit. Mm-hmm. Well, they talk shit, I'll get fit. Mm-hmm. Or wait. <laughs> yeah,
You know, I'm kind of interested in where this Barbie movie is going. Oh, with the weird, weird out of nowhere. But like, I just was on Twitter and saw another like shot from on the set. I'm just like, where is this movie going? You know? Yeah. What's it trying to be? Yeah, exactly. What is it trying to be? What is it trying to say? You know? Mm-hmm. Is Aqua's I'm a Barbie Girl going to be in the song? If that isn't in the fucking movie, that makes no sense. It has to be in the movie. All right, there we go. I'll fix that. That looks a lot better. Oh, that looks way better. Good call. My man. He's not afraid to fix what Darth Vader started. That's true. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's Which done. Which is nothing. <laughs> no, I still don't get that line. But it does make sense. It's really funny because if you think about him where he's just he's just a fanboy. Yeah. So he's just like, Darth Vader is the fucking best, you know? And you're just oh, like, yeah. but was he? Was you know, he was he? Or was he completely ruined by that scene at the end of the prequels? You know? <laughs> no! <laughs> he's really good. No! Frank and Vader. No, he was always cool. He was always will be cool. I mean, Darth Vader was cool, though. And then he's like... And then he's ruined. You know? Mm -hmm. It's that simple. It's that easy. That's no. why I'm always just like... That's why I'm just worried for One Piece, you know? Because, like, again... It's so easy to ruin the coolest shit. Oh, yeah. It's so easy. Just takes one psychopath with, with a keyboard, you know? Yeah. That's it. One fucking absolute, just insane person in Shueisha to say, like, no, nah, we're making a worse sequel to One Piece. Like, that's it. They're just like, no ifs, ands, or buts, you know? They're just like, I don't care if Oda doesn't want it. I don't care if we have to get our D-string writers and, and artists on it. You know? Right. They're like, it's happening. It doesn't matter, you know? It only takes one fucking crazy person like that. They're like, why? Why would you do this? And they're just like, I need a 19th boat. I need a 19th boat. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all I want. That's it. I need a 19th boat. <laughs> no other reason. And it's not even a One Piece themed boat. No, it's not. No. Actually, they're also just, actually, the only reason they're just like, I hate One Piece. That's it. Everyone there just like jaw drop. Everything is just dropped. Dropping drinks, dropping their food, dropping everything. Dropping babies. Yeah, and then he's like, now get to it, you know? <laughs> you can either do it or you can walk. <laughs> That's it. Everyone just leaves. Like, yeah, yeah. He draws it himself. He's gonna draw it himself and get it in. <laughs> One fucking psychopath <laughs> to ruin the world, you know? Joke's on y'all. Now I can publish anything I want. You know? <laughs> Well, getting the main trio done sounds feels pretty good. Yeah, that's why I figured you would probably stop. Three down, six to go. It's uh, eight to go. Uh, yeah, because there's eleven characters. Yeah. Are you gonna like color Nami's bikini pattern on? I guess. Uh, yeah. That's why I figured I was just like asking. I no, figured. that's fair. That's totally fair. So, not pretty good stuff. Only like one smudge. Yeah. On the tattoo. In there, yeah. Yeah, and the one ink drop on the pants. Yeah, it'll be fine. Once yeah, they'll, they'll get it. I'm just saying, like, that's pretty good. Like, yeah. for all this, for this, that's mm -hmm. good. It's like two pretty, pretty, you know, not big a deal, you know? Yeah. No, nothing catastrophic. I think the worst thing that ever happened was when you spilled all the ink on that Shaman King character. It is, yeah. That was definitely the worst one that ever happened. Yeah, that is true. But. No, this is looking good. Yeah, it'll be fun to color this too once it gets to that time. Oh man, yeah. I'm excited. Everyone get excited. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get hyped in the chat. 
Can I get a hype in the chat? Woot woot. But. But yeah. No, it's been a slow night in chat. This is one of those Mondays where no one's here. Everyone's busy. Yeah. Tragically, though, we won't be able to stream Wednesday because that's when I'm going to go do dinner with my mom now. Oh, so that's what's going on? Yeah. Got ya. And then Tuesdays are our usual, just whatever night. And then mm -hmm. Thursday we leave, so. Yeah, so we won't be seeing this again until Monday, I guess. Yeah, next Monday. It's great. So. Oh, well, we're not in a rush to get it done. So. No. I would say, like, Delta HCon? Delta HCon's like middle of August. I think we could get it done. That's true, actually. Yeah. I bet Hold you on, we get the. Oh, let me look at the actual, like. I think we could have this done by A-Fest. Because yeah, AFS is the last, is AFS on, is the last week what last weekend of July. Oh, never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely. You definitely have this done for AFest. Never mind. Yeah, having this debut at AFest would be pretty sick. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot that late is like so late this year or yeah. later. Is it yeah. earlier this year, but later than when we used to? No, it's later than normal because normally it's, okay. normally it's the weekend is uh, it's uh, the same weekend as uh, July uh, as uh, DreamCon is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, that must have been why I thought it was earlier. But, yeah, you can definitely have it done by A-Fest then. I'm sure. That's like a month. That's like a solid month. If you can't finish this in a month worth of streams, that'd yeah. be very strange. I'd be shocked too, yeah. Yeah, that would be like a lot of delays for some reason. Oh, God. Reason. Yes. Fuck yeah, that's funny. Just, just, just send that over to the boys. Because that's, that's... And we were just talking about that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think I won't go see it if it gets good reviews. That so, sounds just like a weird movie to go see. Yeah. You know? It's so weird. It seems so overdue for a live action one, you know? Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, then we won't be back for a hot minute then. Yeah. So. How it is with convention season. Right. So I guess we'll catch y'all on Monday then. Like, next Monday, straight up. Or no, we won't be streaming because it's 4th of July. You're right. Damn. Well, next we could, Wednesday. We could probably stream on that Monday anyway, because we'll be doing all... We'll just watch all those shows and shit, and then be done. I mean... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Nah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah, so next Wednesday, I guess, then. Yeah. So that's quite a while. It is, yeah. But, oh well, that's how it goes, so. Alright, uh, well, anyone who's lurking in the chat, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we're gonna bounce. We won't be streaming again until shit after July. Uh, well, it becomes July, so not this upcoming Wednesday, but the next Wednesday after that. Um, yeah, we're gonna head out, so watch a funky space wizard battle and stay safe.